bounce, opened the face of the bats, sliced it, and the result was even sweeter. A very nice start to the third over for Ravla Court Hawks. What a stroke that was. Showed the sign, showed his ability. That's what he can do. Wasn't a bad delivery at all. Too short, too short, too easy. First uh, six of the tournament for Bismala. Daniel started well with that first ball, but that one just a little bit short, dragged it, and being in the power play, no real protection to speak about. Smart work to retain the strike. So just a single of the last ball of the power play. It is 54 for no loss. again this time it's clean this time there's no way the fielder has any chance back to back sixes for Ravla Coat Hawks oh no 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 he's still struggling another boundary to end the over the length is not right Hawks finish off seven with 73 for none go wrist in that this boundary is not that big that's another six to start off he's looking so good Emma Shazad catch it was called but it's gone way over the short front leg for four so the boundaries they just keep on coming early on in the over the pole under tremendous pressure the crowd loving every minute of this year some action Oh, he's gone hard. Has it gone far enough? Sure has, all the way. Another massive hit, and that moves him to 48 of 25. You saw that one. Back of the length again, and he smoked it. All the way. He moves on to 48. What a beaut of a knock this has become. Edge. It's racing down for four. Another boundary. This is a huge over. <laughs> Flicked it. Short to the fielder. It's funny that uh, as you've been in team, many teams over the years as I have. And 50. What a player. Shazad. He has played beautifully this evening of 32 balls. What a treat it's been to watch him play here this evening. Slap this one all the way. Another superb stroke. Powerful player. Showing his class once again. Oh, what a delivery. It's knocked him over. What a beauty. Stumps out the ground. And that's the wicket they've been wanting. Brilliant breakthrough. He comes back so well and he's got to give a lot of credit to the bowler. 15 of his first over and he's come back beautifully. Ahmad Bhatt showing his class. He has been superb for Peshawar Zalmi and this time for Mirpur Royals. Just look at that. Excellent seam. Leg stump rooted. That's what you want to see as a fast bowler. Wonderful knock comes to an end. Bismillah Khan, he's gone for 59 from 34 balls. Top knock. Hawks, 124 for one. What a hit that was. 
yet another six in this tournament. Yeah, he was impelled to take his chances, wasn't he? Umar Amin. 15 of the over after 13, 140 for one. If you can't find a boundary, hit the ball in the cap. Wasn't the case. Decided to take the aerial route. The only thing missing in that stroke was the placement. Hit the ball straight to the fieldsman who made no mistake. The people, boys, Royals can breathe now. They certainly can. They needed this right now. It's only wickets which is going to stem the flow of runs. And he couldn't have picked that guy out better. Good catch. Good catch. Royals taking something good in the field at last. Well, that's the end of Uma for, for 11. The Hawks 143 for two. That's what happens when as a bowler you ball dot deliveries, you create pressure and you can pick a set batsman like Ahmed Shazad. He was frustrated because he wasn't getting any help from his friends and his partners. Had to take chances. Well, he's walking back after contributing a handful. Well, bold here as well. He's done very well not to go straight. Taking the pace off it slightly. And again, another Hawks batsman picks out the fielder. Shazad goes for very well played. 69 of 42. The Hawks 145 to 3. And that's out. Taking us all by surprise for that moment. A bit of bounce. And these good lines and lengths being rewarded here. Another left hander. It's been a slow start. Hasn't had much of the strike. But it's uh, a bit of joy for the Royals. Not the the first 14 overs or so, but uh, things have changed in the last couple of overs. A short stay for Danish Aziz. Contribute to two, it's 152 for four now. In the air, he's hit it hard. The fielder's right there and won't get to it. Shahid Afridi welcomes Muzaffarabad with that big one. And he's uh, hit that one behind the point this time around. He was again shuffling across, but it was bowled wide, just opening the face. Got enough power on it. Hits it straight, hits it hard. No one to stop that one. That's the third big score in the over. Pressure's on. Oh, he's missed the full toss completely. You can see the gesture. He says just lost the ball somewhere. And Salman Ishad getting the big man on his home. Home city, he's from Kashmir, Salman Irshad, and getting the big wicket of Afridi. How big this moment is for him. Yeah, the moment the ball hit the stumps, it was Shahid Afridi. Just making a gesture, he lost it somewhere. It's full toss, and he just hears the sound when the ball hits the stumps. He's like, no way, I didn't see that at all. He was set up because the square leg fielder was inside the circle, and Afridi tried to hit it too square. Missed it completely. Afridi gone for a cameo. 16 runs. Hawks 170 for 5. He's got bat this time. It was fallen wide, but he's got a lot of it. That's what I was saying. Finish it off well, but he finishes with a 6. 184 for 5. Oh, that oh, should be out. That's got to be out. He's missed it completely. Essen Raza has no doubt there. That's good bowling. Salman Irshad getting another wicket, hailing from Kashmir. He's got the big wicket of Shahid Afridi and this time Asif Afridi. So he's got the better of both Afridis. Good slow one, rolling his fingers right in front of the wicket. That's plump. Yeah, that's the right idea, just taking the pace off. But you've got to be accurate as well when you try to bowl the slower ones. Asif Afridi goes for eight, it's 190 for six. Here's the last ball. 
for Rob Lockwood Hawks innings. Yeah, he's completely messed it up. Just a single to end the inning, so it's 194 for six at the end of 20. Rob Lockwood Hawks after being put into bat. Some good bowling in the last four overs or so, where uh, the Mirpur Royals have made a comeback and stopped them from reaching that 200 plus. Shot, beautiful shot. Look, uh, that's the way to open your account. Flowing drive through the offside for four. Oh, he's gone big and it's gone hard. Who's going to get under? The keeper wants it. Got him. There's the breakthrough. The first wicket to go. Smartly taken. Good bowling as well from Sinwari. All going according to scripts for the Hawks out there. Hard length again. Just got underneath a bit of a top edge. And uh, the keeper, I was watching him as soon as that went up, called mine, he wanted it. And uh, I worked that went high. I'm not sure if the folks at home could have seen it, but that actually went out higher than the lights. But Imtu Zahn did not trouble the scorers tonight. Unfortunately, that's the end of his evening. The Royals, eight for one. Swing hit the fan, it's probably going down. Oh no, umpire decides that's oh. the end of him. I wasn't really convinced by the appeal there. I was very the convinced. I was convinced automatically. And, uh, he has to go. That uh, the Royals losing their second wicket. Say not a bad delivery there. Got an in swing there. Uh, put it to the umpire that was hitting the sticks. Let's have a look. Man, what a bowler. Fresh face and happy with that one. Hit him low down. Mounted his foot onto off stump. Get around that front pad and have a look at the umpire. He started celebrating before the finger came up, but then he could do it for, for real. And he really deserves that wonderful bowling. And that's the end of Muhammad Taha. None of two. Royals, eight for two. Oh, that swung, but he's been flicked on the onside. An excellent stroke. Looked up, it's a boundary, so fighting back here, they need a good bit of fight shown here from the Royals. Oh, pull shot, that's a terrific stroke. That's what you want, another boundary, so finally they're getting hold of Zaman. Oh, he's hit that through the line. Yes, well hit, well struck by Shweb Malik. Shweb Malik. A little too full, and he's gone through with the shot. Oh, that's gripped. That has definitely gripped, and he's found the outside edge and picks up the boundary. Won't to mind too much about that boundary. The nature of the shot just suggested that. That's gone. Yeah! That's a soft dismissal. He was trying to clear a short fine leg. I was just about to say he's got 300s and T20s, but not today. He's just uh, scooped that straight into the lap of short fine leg. And he's trying to help it airily, and, and that has just found the man there. Never really in control of the shot, looking to just help it on its way around the corner. Two men behind square there. The result was the easiest uh, of catches, so yeah. The Hawks have struck and they're firmly in control of this match. The Royals 32 for 3. Mukhtar Ahmed goes for 90. Easy, easy, Jaja. Tika, Tika. Fantastic start for us. Power play has come to an end. The Royals after 6, 34 for 3. You never know where that might end up. This is. Oh, just for a moment thought that he'd collected that 
This is a welcome band for the roads. Ah, oh, that's Walid. That's uh, gone right out the middle of the bat. They've decided this is the moment. That is a good strike for Kushtil. Eight gone, 48 for three. This time, stumped. Beautiful ball, saw the batsman coming down the track. Decided to ball a googly, was the right decision. And a just result for Shahid Afridi. With his experience, with his guile, he's been able to remove a danger man, Khushdil Shah. Very clever balling there, low trajectory than before. The flight was there in the previous ball. This time, flatter, faster. Khushdil Shah missed it completely. And a big wicket here for Shahid Khan Afridi. Yeah, he walks back dejectedly after scoring 12. It's 51 for four. Get it! That's in the air. This time it's taken. A bit of relief for the left arm baller who's taken for few runs. And Mohammad Ikhlaq trying to use his feet this time didn't get it from the middle of the bat, didn't, didn't get the elevation. Danish Aziz doing nothing wrong there. Just look at that, using the feet, but it was from the bottom of the bat. No elevation there. Danish Aziz taking a low catch. Important wicket for Hawks here. A short stay of Mohammed Akbar comes to an end. It's 58 for five. There you go. You cannot keep this man quiet. A huge six to end the over. Oh, that's full. That's full. It's right in the slot. And that's the result. Oh, he's picked it up. That is a serious shot. He's just got over the field for six. Malak stepping across whipping it all the way for six terrific stroke he's back he's whipped it on the onside he's found the gap and it's run away for four so great start to the over for the royals got him he's dragged it on he's gone short and his night just keeps on getting better not for this man mud he's had a good evening with the ball and he's trying to launch one into orbit only managing to drag it onto his stumps and it's all over that's what happens that skiddy sort of bowler looking to pull it and you can so often find yourself dragging it on <laughs> malak oh he's had a big go and not where he intended but it's gone for four Oh, it's just inches away from the keeper. Almost happened in slow motion that slow delivery had a heave ho. Just looped over the keeper for four. The bowler couldn't believe it, shaking his head. Down the ground, effortlessly struck by Malik. That's a glorious shot. Probably his shot of the evening so far, if not the Royals' uh, shot of the evening. My word. Goes downtown again and. Uh, that might be even cleaner than the previous one. First one over Midoff. That one's straight over long on. I tell you what, we're not at altitude yet. Only about 780 meters above sea level. Didn't really work. Nice. That's so well done. Not a good line to ball when you got fine leg up. He's just helped that on his way. Once again, works us around the corner. And it's a no ball as well. So the Royals making a good first of it. And probably the first time this came that you feel things are really going a little bit awry for uh, the Hawks. You kind of just. Um, it's uh, a specific finds a gap again, Malik. It uh, seems to be a signature of his inning so far. Oh, he's gotten through. Gone through. Uh, a horizontal bat, just gotten right under it, probably an inside edge as well. That brings an end to Shweb Malik's knock of 74. As Wakas Maksud strikes, 
and gets wicket number seven of the Royals. Hard length. We've seen a couple stay a little bit lower, but uh, I'm afraid to say Malik on that one. Just looking a little bit too square. He's been so good down the ground, but nonetheless, a real uh, captain's knock by Shui Malak. He's got to walk uh, back to the shed after having scored a good 74, and that leaves the Royals on 143 for seven. Yep, right through. The ball into the stumps. The batsman's looking to hit everything out. He gets his second, Shahid Afridi. Big smile on his face, and uh, Salman Ishad is the wicket that has fallen. Little toppy by Afridi. Slows it down, and uh, the batsman could not resist. And uh, that knocks his middle peg over. Not sure what he's saying there. Maybe uh, just reminding him. Boundary with <laughs> no cheer or roar around it because that's the last ball. So it's been wrapped up. First game of the SRG Kashmir Premier League has got points on the points table for Shahid Afridi and company. The Ravla Code Hawks win their first match and win it big with a margin of 43 runs.